Thanks for coming back, Mario. Maybe now you reconsider announcing Mario Ballet. What about Star Fox? Much noise was made about Nintendo skipping out on a second live press conference, but after dazzling us at this year's E3, don't be surprised if other companies once again follow Nintendo's lead. The Big N brought out the goods when they most needed it, especially given the Wii U's struggle since its launch. We finally got a look at the next Legend of Zelda, which, as expected, stirred up quite a bit of controversy over the appearance of what we'll safely assume is Link for the time being. As good as that short tease was, it unfortunately wasn't playable, ruling it out as a contender for this year's show. Also missing the cut was another Hylian adventure, Hyrule Warriors. The Dynasty Warriors crossover has come a long way since its debut, but it had stiff competition from a stellar lineup from Nintendo. Other stalwart contenders, including 3DS titles struck from the list, were Darling's Yoshi's Woolly World, Codename Steam, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, and Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Whether it was highly anticipated sequels or completely unexpected new IPs, Nintendo enjoyed its best E3 showing in years. And the nominees are... Welcome to hell, love. I'm not one for pets who don't listen to their master. Bayonetta 2. Splatoon. Super Smash Brothers. Xenoblade Chronicles X. And the winner is... Super Smash Brothers. Xenoblade Chronicles X had an amazing demonstration during the Treehouse Live segment that almost sealed the deal, but ultimately Nintendo didn't allow us hands-on time after teasing us for over a year. Bayonetta 2 impressed us with another taste of Platinum's stellar character action specialty, but we've taken the Umbra Witch for a spin several times now over the past year. And Splatoon would likely win the award for most pleasant surprise, and it certainly is nice to see Nintendo trying out new IPs, but not even its impressive showing could topple our top pick. Nintendo went all out this E3 to ensure everyone had a chance to get their hands on the new Smash Brothers. Whether it was the countless kiosks on the show floor, routinely packed with attendees, and the massive turnout for the Invitational Tournament, or seeing Reggie fils take on a Wada in Mii form. This is the game Nintendo fans have been waiting for, and it's hard to think of a better way to give the world its first taste of Smash on Wii U than what we experienced at E3. Plus, where else are you going to see Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, and Pac-Man slug it out for supremacy?